Welcome to Total Financial Makeover with Devo and Dejano. Move from lack or barely enough to abundance. Renting to letting. From struggling to thriving. Blick to living the dream. Totally in control and your head above the waters. Taking safe and superb financial decisions always. Welcome, 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 welcome. Wow. <laughs> from the break. We are, we, break? Which break? <laughs> we, the holiday. <laughs> well, the holiday we have within one week. Fine, no problem. I mean, it's a new year. Yes. It is. The last time we saw you was last year, a week ago. Yes, it was last year. It's amazing that it's a new year. Mm, Do you feel like it's a new year? I'm feeling the new year resolution and the feeling and the starting new things you know the energy the refined <laughs> energy the that's good happy new year to all our viewers out there this yeah. is total financial makeover with debo and with me as always is my co-host rosemary okurobo yeah how are you very fine how did you enjoy your short holiday ah it was fun everybody in the house you know it was fun. It was fun. Wow. Can you imagine? Your face even shows it. I guess it should not end. <laughs> like it should not end. <laughs> okay now. It's on God that will visit you if the holiday is not ending. <laughs> By yourself, you will say, ah, I beg, holiday is over. Let's I go and walk. True. You know, so there is there is always there is, should be a limit to everything. Yeah. The, the holiday was fine. I rested. At least this that was one thing I did during this holiday. I rested more than I think I've ever. You know, because hmm. actually most of the time I usually will still work all through the holiday. Yes, I did a lot of work, but I rested at least. I rested, and I think I'm looking a bit more rested. Yes, refreshed. Refreshed, I'll be refreshed. Mm. Okay, no problem. So you're welcome. How did you spend your own holiday? Mm. And then what are your what are your I won't say resolutions. What are the things you've decided you want to do? this year. Mm. Why I won't say resolution is because it's been bastardized, mm. but it still has its efficacy. Okay? So, but what are the things that you've resolved? If you were with us during the last three Episode. weeks of last year, you know, you would realize that we dealt with things that can help you set your year in motion appropriately. If you missed it, you want to go to the YouTube channel. If you're listening on radio or you're watching us on TV or anywhere, you want to go to the YouTube channel and go catch up on those episodes because you quickly want to catch up so that you can set your, your year in a good, I mean, set it up in a good way, okay? And if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I wouldn't know what you're waiting for. Debo Adejano TV. That's where I just go on, click on the subscribe button. Subscribe. And then we have over... 100 and something videos, I mean, of very qualitative uh, discussions that would help you greatly. So you want to binge on it, you want to catch up on uh, some of the videos we have. They, they don't expire. They don't go out of use because they are knowledge-based. Knowledge cannot really expire. You understand what I mean? So you want to subscribe to the channel and then go catch up with all our past episodes. And when you subscribe, what you should do is click the notification button also. What that helps to do is that whenever we upload any new video, you'll be notified and you can quickly watch it uh, within time, okay? Of course, the discussion also will be going on on Twitter. Uh, Twitter handle is Debo Adejano. Instagram is Debo Adejano. You can get us on Facebook at Realty Point or Debo Adejano, okay? Make sure that you follow us. Make sure that you talk to us. Let's continue this conversation. Today's topic, very interesting. We are starting the year on what I call action notes. You know, do us notes. Because these are things that would help you. I'm very, 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 very uh, uh, excited about today's topic. And you'll get to know why. Because it helps you to take action. Take action, not just saying. You know, yeah, exactly. So today's topic is piggy bank challenge, right? Yeah. It's more or less like we are starting a challenge. Piggy bank challenge, a practical way to saving money. Mm. Mm. Piggy bank challenge, a practical way to Save saving money. money. Mm. Rose, have you had, <laughs> you're laughing, as if you know the question I want to ask you. <laughs> have you had piggy bank before? 
I have. Do you I know have. what is called piggy bank? I hope you know. You can see some uh, pictures right now on the screen if you are watching mm. via the YouTube channel on TV. Okay? Yes. These are the things. Something that looks like a pig. It's yeah. actually yeah. A, a structure of a pig, but you can then put there's money. There's a there slot can... there that you can push things through. Okay? Usually money. Right? Okay, so that's a piggy bank. And we're starting a challenge this year, not just today, not just this week, not just this month. This whole year will be on that challenge. And I'll be welcoming videos from people as uh, to so how they are going about it or whatever it is that they are doing and what they've achieved with it. I would explain more of that as we go on. Rose, like I was asking, mm -hmm. have you had a piggy bank before? I have. You have? I have. Interesting. I have had and I'm still having it. <laughs> really? I see you have a piggy bank right now. Yes, I do. Whoa, an adult. You know, a lot of times people <laughs> think that piggy banks are for, are for children. No, it's not for... You know, when you have... You always, you're someone that always have spare cash on you. It's always advisable to put it somewhere. The wisdom are already coming out. <laughs> <laughs> spare cash. You want to put it somewhere. So, you... you okay, there are different types of... I mean, over my short life i've seen different types of piggy bank which one do you currently have and which okay. types have you had before in terms okay. of make uh before i think i've always had i've always used perfume um not those perfume packs okay i'll use it as my piggy bank but right now i think i have the i have the wooden one you have the wooden one yes mm, mm, as your bought it from the market from the market <laughs> From the market, okay? Interesting, interesting. I've had, I've had different types, really. I've had the the clay, the one that they mold, the yeah. very local one. If you go to some local markets in Africa, Nigeria, uh, precisely, you will see them. Usually, very, you know, some round we're in different sizes anyway. Okay. But the smallest, about this kind of size, round, you know, spherical in shape, and then there is a slot somewhere there, you know. And um, yes. When you want to, when you when you are done, when they are full, and you want to get your money out, all you just do is break. break. You just on the ground, and then it breaks, and then you you are able to get your money. So I've 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 had that. Okay, I've had that before, and I've had the uh, I've had the wooden one. You know, okay. also then I've had. You can see some materials here. For example, I've had some that I've made. Okay, homemade piggy bank. Mm -hmm. I will be sharing with you how you can because some of those ones we are talking about i mean they cost money you go to yeah, the market you buy yeah. that clay one it costs some money may not be so much the wooden one do you remember how much the current one you have how much you bought it mm, i think i got it for was it 200 or 300 200 or 300 naira okay yeah. now and then there are those that there are companies these days that yeah, actually make these make things it. and they sell for a few thousand some one thousand two thousand three thousand seven thousand depending on which one you are buying mm -hmm. from them so it can cost you money but depending on where you are what your aim is you can mm -hmm. also from your own i mean from things in your house mm -hmm. you can actually make yourself a piggy bank so it will almost cost you nothing except for the raw materials that are in your house maybe a glue for example is the additional thing that you may have to buy. Mm. You probably have something that you can use to cut. And with just that, you can actually make your piggy bank. I'll be showing you today the importance of it and all. So the one you have had or that you are having, why? Why? You said spare cash. So spare cash. Okay, you just want to use it to save spare cash. Mm, I use it to save spare cash. And when I'm stranded or I need the money, just pluck it out. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now, wait. Are you sure it's when you are standing <laughs> and need money or when you are tempted? They are, these are different things. No, it's basically when I really need the money. When you really need the money. So, I what was your aim in the first place? The wisdoms are already coming out. You need to note. Okay, she had mentioned spare and then we are talking about the aim. Mm. In getting the you know, in the local Yoruba, Yoruba palace, they call it Kolo. I don't know. Mm. In your own dialect, is there any word for it? Any name for it? I don't know. Kolo. You don't, you don't know Kolo. Your, you even speak your dialect. You don't understand that. Okay, so, but English term is piggy bank, yeah. more or less. Okay, so, uh, can you remember the purpose that is different that you had it when you were young? Mm, the purpose then was to save it for, my mom would say, um, keep your money for Christmas, for mm -hmm. Christmas clothes. So that was the purpose then. then. But 
I know that before Christmas, the money is always there. The, wow. <laughs> so what happens to like, the money? Where is the money? She'll be like, all the food you've been eating. <laughs> I see. Okay. I see your mom would down there. <laughs> Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. That happens a lot, you know. Okay, you see, so for my kids, uh, uh, there was a time we actually made the homemade uh, colo for them, each okay. of them. Um, and um, yes, they, they got it out, actually. They got it out at some point. My kids will hardly allow you to to spend their money. So okay. they will keep their colo <laughs> by themselves. They are piggy band. They will keep it in their rooms and all. Whenever they have some money, people give them money. Mm. That's one thing, you know. A lot of our parents encourage us when people give us mm. money, when See. uncles come and all of that, they give you money, you go show it to your mm. mom and then she collects it from you and then she says she will keep it. Then when you go ask, you see all the food you've been eating and stuff <laughs> like that, okay? So, but what we did for our kids was if they got money, Anyhow, we just encourage them immediately. Uh, okay, we are Christians. Okay, we subscribe to the Christian faith. So pay your tithes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the See. remaining go put in your piggy bank mm -hmm. immediately. So we just sometimes we even pay their tithes. I mean, from off of our own hands, and then tell them to. But they have the knowledge of the importance of that because mm -hmm. it's something we subscribe to. And then they put it. They put the balance in their piggy, in bank. The piggy bank. And I can remember when we broke. They've only had it once actually in their lifetime. And I remember when we broke their piggy mm -hmm. bank. We took the money. Some thousands of naira uh, came to actually. We took the money to their savings accounts okay we took the money to their savings account we are sharing all of this background so that when we begin to put structures into it you would really really understand why it is very very it is a very very good way of saving money okay it's a very good way so it's a saving method to save loose cash or to save towards a target do you understand so you have the aim like you want to buy christmas clothes i know children who that is probably how they contribute to their Christmas, whatever. They start from the beginning of the year, and then by the end of the year, they bring out what they have. For me, there's no contribution. My mom used to buy her Christmas clothes, even March or before the, before the first year, year, okay, she would already buy it. But I know that some kids, they've, they've grown yes. groomed them or developed them, like, hey, save some part of it. We'll break it at this point, and it will hurt to whatever you get for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Or some, you are just saving it, and then there is what they want to use it for. Mm -hmm. So, but is a savings method. That's one. Mm -hmm. Number two is that a savings method has to have a purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because the purpose will help you with discipline. True. Because with a piggy bank, there are the electronic types these days also. Yeah. You know, whichever one, whether you're using the physical one or the uh, electronic one, mm -hmm. with piggy bank, there is the place for the physical one. That's why we are discussing the physical one today there's a place for especially in, when you still have access to cash when we are operating a cashless economy now it's more of a cashless economy now but you see we still have we also know that we still have access to lose cash a lot of times this is a good way to ensure that you are able to harness that resource and just is not filtered away in the living lasciviously <laughs> if you know what where that word comes from you know so it's important to be able to do that um i think we want to take a break yeah, here let's go on a break we want to go on a break here and then we'll be right back showing you how a homemade piggy bank can be done mm -hmm. and then discussing further on the importance of it and telling you the basics of this challenge that we are starting Barcelona Landlord Direct is an initiative of Barcelona Real Estate Cooperative Multipurpose Society Limited. It is one of the membership routes available to join in the cooperative. On this platform, carefully created real estate rental income projects and orders are offered to low budget real estate investors like you and I to participate and enjoy the return available with as low as 25,000 naira. You can actually secure a fractional slot of investment on offer and proceed to enjoy real estate return as prescribed everything that needs to be done can be done on the platform including paying for your fractional slot via pay start payment limited investors can pick the pay later option while filling out their investment on this platform you actually don't need a million bucks to invest in real estate when it comes to the Besama landlord direct platform you read it all from Chrissy and Lacon. that is exactly how breath it wrong enjoy the plan go ahead and start investing you stand a good chance let's make real estate money together welcome Welcome back from the short break. 
So you can see that adverts is another purpose for saving. You, you know we don't save to earn. We save for a particular reason. So you can actually save your money in the piggy bank, as we have earlier said. You know, save your loose cash. Save your loose cash in the piggy bank. Then put it in for the investment. You can decide your purpose can be to save to get a slot for a property or to be a partaker of a particular... Just... The savings should be for a purpose, and that brief is is all is all you need because you are saving your loose cash and you are going to get interest again. You're for saving investing. your loose cash and you are going to become a landlord, landlord with that. With you can that, imagine yes. you can become a co-landlord with that with and that. start to enjoy returns on your investment yes. from your loose cash. Your I loose mean, cash. if you can gather twenty five thousand from your loose cash over time, you can use that to buy a, a, a unit of uh, a fractional unit of the brief. Uh, a program and then you are you become a landlord. Yes, you can imagine and, that. And that's a plus. It's to be a plus on you. I don't know if it plus the money, but a <laughs> plus on you yeah. also. Yeah. So if you want to make more inquiry and you want to know more about the investment, these are the numbers to call. You can call Ben on 080 96 95 76 58 or call Vivian on 080-8582-3975. 080-8582-3975. And anywhere you are in the world, in you're the listening world. to us in, a, in Abuja on radio, or you're watching mm -hmm. us on a TV channel or YouTube channel, anywhere you are in the world, mm -hmm. this is available for you. Yes. So now we'll go on the money quote of the day. The money quote for the day is... You must gain control over your money, or the lack of it will forever control you. You must gain control over your money, or the lack of it will forever control you. Mm. By Dave Ramsey. And this is one way to gain control yes, over your money. Yes, one way. So you were, earlier you were saying you wanted to show us how to make a pig. Yeah, let's time. just quickly do that. It didn't yes. take much of your time at all. Okay, so to gain control over your loose cash, have your piggy bank handy in your house, close to you, in your office, or anywhere, okay, uh, that is safe. Safe from you <laughs> and safe from others because oh, sometimes true. you are a temptation to yourself. So all you need to do is, you know, you can get from other places, like we said, but with items in your house, mm -hmm. see this now. This is a plastic uh, container. This is um, the container of water, of uh, bottled oh, water, okay. okay? And any other container, plastic or thin or you know things like that that are they have their own shape and you can just do one or two things to turn them into a piggy bank mm -hmm. so the simple thing for example is look there is an opening here right all you have to do is take your glue mm -hmm. your super glue okay and put it around this area okay and then put it around the mouth of this bottle for example close it up and squeeze it in like that that secures that area meaning that this place there is no entrance again, again. i mean no, no opening okay. again you know because and then what you can then do because you don't want your money to be falling you want to control how the money comes in so you take a blade or anything that you can use to cut a knife and you can open it maybe at the center or however you want it you know or one side of it like this you can just open a slot, cut a slot out, a tiny slot. Don't let it be too big so that your money will not be falling off. Or as Rose said, it, it will not be so easy for you <laughs> to be pulling it out when you are tempted. If you are tempted, because some of us are, I mean, will be tempted, you know. So you cut that out. Um, so... It depends on you. Are you don't, don't let it just be too long because even if it is um, notes, naira notes you want to put there, you can always fold it to get it in. Mm. So this is a slot I've cut out. I hope you can see that. For example, this can take coins, can take naira notes. Mm. I remember when we were growing up, um, coins was very popular. So yeah. those colos I was telling you about, those uh, piggy banks I was telling you, the clay type and all of that, it's majorly for coins, you know, 
And then some Naira notes if you stumble on some, you know, stuff like that or you were given. But these days, I think, especially in this part of the world, we have a lot of Naira notes. Mm -hmm. Other parts of the US um, and all of that, you save your quarter, you save your penny, you know, things like that. It helps you or, or your pens in the, U in the UK. Now, look at this. This is a bigger container and just the same thing. Can just put your super glue all around this place, okay, all around the mouth here. Put it also all around internally of this cover like this. Once you've done that, you are halfway through. <laughs> it's so simple. You just squeeze it, and that closes that opening permanently, at least to an extent. Then you can decide to either cut here, open, or cut here open or cut here open wherever you want to cut open to slot in your money into the piggy bank now this is one other thing you want to do for some people it's tempting to be viewing their money you know in the transparency of they may be forced to you know break it open or cut it and open and stuff like that what you can do is to paint this transparent area for example the base and this side in the case of this in the case of this, paint this in a color that is not transparent, that won't make you see, see through. Mm -hmm. Or wrap something, some covering around it. You know, you gum, you put gum, okay, all around that surface of that material and wipe it around, or you put gum all around this piece and just wrap it around this area and also the base. And that way you've covered it from being transparent. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Voila. You have your piggy bank, your own piggy bank, homemade piggy bank. And you can always just put your money there. Mm. Of course, when you've saved enough and you want to break, easy. Now, for materials that are hard, because you can get some plastic materials or any other material. Let's say plastic materials that are really, really hard. You can use knife, you know, mm. hot knife. Hot put knife. knife in the fire. It makes it more easy. um, easier to, 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 to cut through the plastic, you know, just to cut the opening. But in that case, you don't even have to cut the opening. What you just do is, once the, uh, um, the knife is hot enough, you just tip it in and then it will make its way in. Once you see that the knife has entered to the size at least that you want, you pull it out and that opening is there for your money to go in, okay? And that's all. That's all. Um, this is easier. You don't have to knock anything to anything. You don't have to. It's just so easy. And these materials are very common and they're very available around us. This, you can put them to very good use this way. So it's a challenge. Hashtag piggy bank challenge. Okay. Share the video of your making of your piggy bank of your journey, you know, as your money is rising there, if you want to show us or things like that, and of your breaking your piggy bank whenever you do break it, okay? When you break it, you can tell us, show us the video of the breaking, and then you can tell us the amount if you want to. You may not want to disclose the exact amount, but show us the picture. Let's see the money. Let's see how you are breaking your colo and then uh, your piggy bank. And then tell us precisely where the stuff is going to. What are you putting it into? Like we said, it's not like this is just our own idea, kind of. We saw this also online, and we felt that it's something that would encourage people. There is also a challenge called uh, My Colo Challenge. It's similar to this by some uh, organization who do, they make colos for sale. But in this case, we've shown you how to do something with whatever you have in your house. The Piggy Bank Challenge. Share it on our Instagram and do, okay? Share it with me, Debo Adejano. Just say, this is how my story is going. Debo Adejano. At Debo Adejano. Mm -hmm. That would be very interesting. So that's the challenge. Anytime this year, throughout this year, you can always share the information you have with us. I will make glad to share it whenever we have time on our YouTube channel. So please, if you've not subscribed again mm -hmm. to the YouTube channel, I don't know whether you want Rose to beg you this time. <laughs> Should she beg you? Please go and subscribe. You it's know? important. There are so many informations on the YouTube channel that you won't want to miss. Make and then sure click the subscribe. notification button yes. and all. Then for the numbers, you want to share yes, the numbers again please. to call. Phone numbers to call again. To you, understand more about Brefie. To know more. You want to inquire more about the investment. Please call Ben on 080-96-95-7658. 80 or call Vivian on 
080-85823975. So for our viewers or for our listeners via radio, I would encourage you to go to the YouTube channel so that you can see the pictures yeah. of how we demonstrated that you can make it. You know, maybe verbally you might not have understood it so much. I can, the limitations of not seeing what we are doing. But you can go to the YouTube channel, Debo Adejano TV, subscribe. Okay, and watch, for example, how after this, it will be on the YouTube channel already, mm -hmm. after this program. So go ahead and watch and see and take action. It's been a very fantabulous uh, program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fantabulous. <laughs> it's been a very fantabulous program. Rose, I'm looking forward to you sharing your story. Yes. And I'm also <laughs> looking forward to myself sharing my story, the journey mm -hmm. about the piggy bank challenge. So whenever you share it on social media, just hashtag... Piggy Bank Challenge. Sorry. Piggy Bank Challenge. Thank you very much. That will be all from me. Do you have anything to tell our viewers, our listeners? No, I'm just pledging that I will be disciplined. <laughs> okay, so Rose is pledging to you that she'll be disciplined. <laughs> and I'm also promising that I will do my best. Mm -hmm. I have a clear purpose already, and I'll do my best to be disciplined towards it. So, any loose cash, I will definitely put it here. I can't wait to make my own piggy bank today. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. See you next week in our uh, next episode. That will be another great topic. You, want to, you don't want to miss it. Mm -hmm. I remain your sincerity. We come your way another day. Your financial jailbreaker, mm -hmm. escape crusader, and the emperor of your <laughs> sacular your landlord dynasty. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Total Financial Makeover with Devo at Dejanov. Move from lack or barely enough to abundance. Renting to letting. From struggling to thriving. Blick to living the dream. Totally in control. Your head above the waters. Taking safe and superb financial decisions always.